Alright, so my name is Josh Young and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on shelves in Maya. Uh, this is my 2012 64-bit uh, system. So, as you can see, I've got a shelf up here I called it Josh Likes. Um, it's got all my favorite stuff in it. I'm going to take you through on how to make your own shelf and then add more items to it. Uh, once you have that, you can access them whenever you want and you can take them and import them so you can use them at school or at your job or whatever. Um, I'm also going to show you how to delete items and I'm going to show you some of my favorite items and what they do. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how I got this shelf to work. So all I did was I go to this little arrow over here and you've got your options of shelf tabs, editor, new shelf, delete shelf, load shelf, save all shelves. Um, and all I did was make a new shelf. So I'll click right here, and you enter a shelf name. So we'll just call it uh, Maya1. Okay. So now we've got this new shelf that's completely blank. So if we want to add anything new to it, all you have to do is go and find whatever you want. So I'm going to go into Polygons, and then I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, and I want Extrude. So when I'm highlighted over the thing I want, all I do is hold Control and Shift, and then left click it. And there it goes. So it added right there. So now I've got extrude in this shelf and I can use it whenever I want. Alright, so now that you've added one, uh, if you want to get rid of it, all you have to do is right click it and you can delete it. Pretty easy. So if I right click it and delete it, it's gone. So let's go ahead and add another one. Um, we're going to add mirror geometry. So I'm going to go down to mirror geometry, control and shift, left click it and there it is right there. So now it's back on there. Um, now if you want to open these boxes, because there's many boxes, like for instance if you go in here to edit mesh you can see all these little squares to see your option boxes, all you have to do is double click and it'll pop up the option box. So you still have the option to do all that. You're not limited by having just this from the shelf. You can still get all your options. So after you've added all the items you like, um, all you have to do is go over here and you can do save all shelves and that will save every shelf you have. The other thing you can do is go into shelf editor right here and it will bring up all these options. Basically this is your uh, command center for finding all the stuff you want. So like here I've got mine that Josh likes and then the one we, we just made, Maya 1. Um, so you can rearrange things in here if you want. You can delete them. It's kind of a fast way to go through and change everything and make it how you like it. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave that alone. So uh, I'm going to take you to my shelf now. And it's right here. Um, and I've got some of the tools that I like. Um, and I'm going to show you what a few of them do. So I'm going to skip uh, these ones. These are all just creating objects. Um, I like to have them there just to create polygons on the fly. Uh, that way I don't have to go up to create polygon primitives and find the one I want. Um, sometimes I do, but for the ones I use the most, I keep them over here. Um, but I'm going to show you a few of the tools I think are really handy to have and where to find them and how to put them there. Um, so the first one I'm going to go over is Insert Edge Loop Tool. Uh, this one is a really nice tool to have. You can pretty much use it in anything. So I'm going to create a uh, cube real fast. So I'm going to put it on the center of the axis, just make that cube. Um, now if I want to add an edge loop to it, all I do is click on it, go to edge loop, which is right here, and then I'm going to drag it across. With this one you can drag it this direction to add a line across this way, or you can drag across this way to add one this way. And that adds an edge loop that goes all the way through the object, and you get all the new vertices too. If I want to get out of any of these tools, um, all I do is click Q, and then I'm out. Um, so that's a really good tool. And to find that one, all you have to do is go to Edit Mesh, and then you go down here, Insert Edge Loop Tool. So if I wanted to add that, just Control Shift click it, and it would add right to the shelf. The next one I'm going to show you is the Slide Edge Tool. Um, it's in the same spot. It's right over here, Slide Edge Tool. And um, it's really nice because when you have an object that's starting to have curves and you want to adjust it, um, I just put this into smooth mode to make it a little easier to see, um, 
you can select these edges while in edge mode so make sure you're in edge mode and then you can do the slide edge tool and it'll actually allow you to move just this edge along the geometry so I'll middle click it and I can move it where I want um, if I do another one this is the edge as you can see I can move it all the way across so it's pretty neat um, it's nice it makes it easier because when you just use the move tool sometimes things get funky you try and go left and right um, so I use that one a lot alright so that's a cool tool um, another one that I like is this one this is the uh, interactive split tool it's nice if you don't want to create an entire edge loop across you just want to make uh, a line that you need so if you click that one it'll actually snap um, to a point on your edge and then you can click and then click to where you want to take it to it'll make this orange line across you click to the other spot and you just press enter so now I've created um, an edge with vertices um, without having to go all the way around the object so that one's really handy too um, and that one's also um, right in here uh, interactive split tool under edit mesh so a lot of them are under edit uh, edit mesh the ones I like um, edit mesh and mesh are the main two spots I go to um, another one that's really nice to have is this it show all objects and hide unselected objects so if I'm working with two objects at once let's say I have a, another one of these right here and I just want to work on this one all I'll do is click on it and then I'll go hide unselected objects and now I'm just working on that when I want them to reappear all I have to do is click on the all show all objects click that it's back I can do it the same way with this one and get them back. So pretty basic. Um, it's just a nice quick little tool to have. Um, and that is under display show all or hide unselected objects. There's other ones you can do, but those ones are the most uh, useful, I think. Um, another one is center pivot. Uh, this one is under modify center pivot and what that does is let's say you've all probably been to a spot where this little tool isn't even able to be seen because it's covered in other objects or it's way off screen so all you do is you click on it and it'll recenter it um, so that's really nice to have and it's pretty handy so I always keep that one in here too um, uh, beveling is a nice one to have because sometimes you just want to add a bevel without having to smooth the object so all you have to do for that is uh, I'm going to double click it to go into its option boxes right here and you can change your bevel around let's say you want more segments a little skinnier width just mess with it um, and click bevel and so now I've got this nice smooth thing without having it all smoothed up so that's pretty handy uh, if you actually smooth it that's the difference between it and normal so pretty basic uh, but bevel is nice to have up there um, so those are the main tools I usually use um, along with this one. This is delete edge and vertices. Um, you'll get a lot of errors if you try and just click delete on an edge or a uh, vertex. So if I want to get rid of, let's say, all of these vertices, I would go into vertex mode, click all of them so they're all highlighted, and instead of just clicking delete where I can get some funky leftover stuff, I'm just going to click it right here, and they're gone. Well, that's one way to do it. Um, and that'll be a lot cleaner than just clicking delete but that's a really nice tool to have um, another thing you can do is I'm going to make another object real fast right now go into object mode W to move that um, and I want to do something called boolean um, difference and that's right here you can find this one under mesh booleans difference. What this does is it basically takes a piece out of something, uh, one object from another. Then I'm going to put this in here and then I'll click on the object that I want it to be taken out of, shift click, click on the object that I want to take. Uh, I'm going to click on booleans in difference right here. And there we go. So it took that piece out. It just makes it so now you don't have a little section that I took out. So that's nice for making like indents and um, other cavities that you need to make. Um, 
So those are most of my tools. I also use the curve tools that I have up here. Um, those are under create, CV curve tool, EP curve tool. Um, I use those a lot for curves. Um, and then there's also the cut face tool. I'm not going to go into that one because that one gets kind of crazy if you it basically just does a line that cuts across everything and sometimes you get some weird geometry from that but that's like if you're in dire straits you really need to get rid of uh, something <laughs> or cut something in half um, so those are pretty much the tools that I use most of the time my main go to's um, I've got a merge one up here um, and I do merges usually I just go up here and find it because there's different merge ones I like to use uh, like merge vertexes to get all the vertices merged together. Um, those are nice uh, to be able to fix a lot of things when you're doing a lot of mirroring and uh, half of side of something and you need to put them together. So those are the tools that I use the most um, and that's how you make a basic shelf. Uh, pretty easy and it's really helpful. Uh, I just load it up every time I go anywhere that way I don't have to look for stuff. I just have all my basic stuff that I use constantly in this little shelf. So now I'm going to show you how to load a shelf. Okay, so I've deleted my shelf. It's no longer here, the Josh Likes shelf. Um, so all I have to do to load it is, once I have it saved somewhere, uh, is go in here and do load shelf. Pretty basic. After that, you're just going to find wherever you have it. So I've got mine in my flash drive. So I go where I have it, right here, Josh Shelf, click open, and there it is. pops up, and now uh, I have my shelf again, and you can use that whenever you want. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, you're just going to go into your Documents folder, which I pulled up right here. Um, and you're going to go into Maya. Um, 2012 x64 because I'm the 64-bit version and then you're going to go into prefs and then shelves and that's where all your shelves are stored so all you have to do is copy and paste one of these put it on your flash drive put it wherever and then you can just load it like I showed you earlier in the video you can also do that with any of the other shelves um, if you lose one or whatever but pretty easy, you just take that, copy paste it, and then you load it in, and you've got a shelf that works. So yeah, this is how you make shelves, um, creating them, editing them, um, and I showed you a few of my favorite tools to use, and you can add anything you want. So I hope this tutorial helped, and I'll see you guys next time.